The whole point of B850 member boards is that they, you know, cheap. Then what on earth is ASUS doing releasing this right here, the ROG Strix B850F, for a whopping $300. A lot more than even some X870 boards currently on offer. So what do they do to try and justify that kind of ridiculous price? Well, we're starting off with CPU power. Here we have 16 plus 2 plus 2 power phases rated at a maximum of 80 amps, which is about as good as it gets on B850. And it's going to be more than enough juice for your CPU that I see that pretty much every single time. What's more peculiar is the fact that you only get a maximum memory overclock rating of 8,000 mega transfers per second from ASUS, even though even a lot of cheap member boards are able to offer a 200 or 8400. Again, just like with the VRM situation, it does not matter to 99% of people, though it's still something you'd expect to be better on such an expensive board. Then moving down to the PC expansion, yep, you've seen that correctly, just two PCIe slots. Again, not many people are going to need more than that, but again, I thought I'd try to really do something here to justify the price. You do get a primary PC Gen 5 slot, as to be expected, and another physically 16x, but actually Gen 4 4 lane slot. It does finally have something interesting, however, when we look at the storage. It does have the expected 4 M.2 slots, however, two of them are actually Gen 5 pretty impressive for this chipset, with the other two being, as you can expect, Gen 4. Though keep in mind that the third M.2 slot and the second PCE slot share bandwidth, so if you add in another PCE card, you're going to be losing out on that one M.2 slot. Though I don't think anything could have prepared me for the fact that this $300 motherboard has just two SATA connectors. Two. Two. One, two. Just two! But okay, maybe they'll tie me over with some other internal I.O. Well, thankfully you do get seven various fan connectors, which should be enough for most people. Plus you get three addressable RGB connectors here, but then again, strangely, just no four pin connector at all, which is a worrying trend I've been seeing in quite a few motherboards this generation. But okay, maybe their rear I.O. will really impress us and honestly, it ain't half bad. You do get a whopping 10 USB Type-A ports, which is really nice to see, and it gets topped off with two Type-C ports, one of them being 10 gig and the other 20 gig. Though if you want anything faster than that, you are going to have to upgrade to X870 instead. You do also get both HDMI and DisplayPort for integrated graphics, nice to see if again mostly useless. The expected 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, as well as Wi-Fi 7, and in that $300 budget, ASUS Clear couldn't find the pennies to give us more than just two audio jacks alongside optical spinoff running out of the ALC4080 codec. Now I'm not saying that having more expensive versions of budget chips and motherboards is bad. I myself bought exactly that for B650. However, ASUS could at least try to justify that price a bit more. I mean, the main thing you are paying for here is just that ROG aesthetic. And sure, it looks great, but you're just paying so much more for so much less when it compared to B850 or even X870 stuff. It doesn't have the 5 gig Ethernet like what all MSI motherboards have this generation, even the more budget ones. Nor does it have the additional set of connectors and PCE slots you'd expect from literally every single other motherboard on the market right now. But if you're just really into that aesthetic, I mean... Go for it, I guess. Our links to it will be up in the iCars and down in the video description below. But down there, you're also going to find our Patreon, which, if you're rich enough to get this board, you're probably rich enough to give him one dollar a month there. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Badish Volka, Patrick Harrison, Nola Pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.